The other cool thing that happened this weekend um, was what the uh, British ambassador to the United States, Kim Darach, is that how you say it, Kathy? Kim Darach or Derek? I'll go with Derek. Uh, he said today, Trump said today, that his little coterie of demons inside the White House will no longer deal with the British ambassador. Pew. After a series of leaked diplomatic cables, leaked diplomatic cables, that reminds me of what? Oh yeah, WikiLeaks. After a series of leaked diplomatic cables revealed that the, US, uh, the British ambassador had told the prime minister of uh, the UK that Trump was inept and clumsy, among other things. Uh, Trump tweeted this, quote, I've been very critical about the way the, U the UK and Prime Minister Theresa May handled Brexit. What a mess she and her representatives have created. I told her how it should be done, but she decided to go another way. I do not know the ambassador, but he's not liked or well thought of within the US. We'll no longer deal with him. The good news for the wonderful United Kingdom is that they will soon have a new prime minister. While I thoroughly enjoyed the magnificent state visit last month, it was the queen who I was most impressed with. Oh, well, thanks for letting us know that, you orange fucking maniac. Trump met with uh, the ambassador several times during his little circle jerk trip with his fucked up family to visit the queen. Um, anyway, British officials spent this weekend trying to do damage control after these comments leaked. And, and you know, there's nothing in the comments that the U.S. ambassador made that are untrue. Some people say, well, it's just a characterization. It's just a uh, interpret, uh, interpretive statements from the ambassador. That's how he sees it. No, 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 no. Those are objective, truthful statements. Trump is an asshole. He is inept. He is clumsy. Um, but there's more here in a second. Uh, and the cables leaked to the da Daily Mail newspaper. Derek warned the UK government that Trump's quote, career could end in disgrace and describe conflicts within the White House as, quote, knife fights. <laughs> the, uh, the period being described by the British ambassador to the United States spanned the period between 2017 and now, you know, just the Trump period. Uh, now, senior British politicians are coming to Derek's defense, and well, they should. Everybody on the planet knows what a dumb fuck Trump is. It's no secret. Everybody knows. And, and the ones who know the most about his dumb fuckedness are the ones that take most advantage of him, like Putin. Like Kim Jong-un. Anyway, uh, senior British politicians have defended the country's ambassador to the U.S., Derek. And a spokesperson for uh, Prime Minister Theresa May said today that she has, quote, full faith in Derek. That is the same as saying, I agree. I, Theresa May, the prime minister, agree that Trump is a dork fuck. He's just a total asshole. She added that part of an ambassador's job is providing for the leadership, in this case, the prime minister, what she called, quote, an unvarnished assessment, <laughs> quote. But Theresa May, nor any leader, of any European country or Asian country or African country or South American country, no leader needs to have explained to him or her 
what a stupid fucker Trump is. The whole world knows it. Anyway, the uh, spokesman for Theresa May had to add that she uh, uh, she feels that the statements made by the Derek were quote unacceptable and a matter of regret. Tough shit, Prime Minister May. Asked specifically about Trump's tweets, a spokesperson in Theresa May's office told CNN today that the prime minister's position is, quote, unchanged from earlier today, end quote, which was she had the full confidence in her diplomat. <laughs> Former Secretary Jeremy Hunt, who is also a candidate to be Britain's next prime minister, if that Boris fuckwad doesn't get in there. Anyway, Jeremy Hunt said today that while he did not share Derek's views necessarily, it was still, quote, very important, end quote, that United Kingdom diplomats across the world can, quote, continue to give us their frank assessments. He added, quote, we need to be able to have a debate inside these buildings here. We need to be able to disagree. End quote. <laughs> um, What has concerned British officials the most was the fact that these messages, these characterizations of this fucking moron, Trump and his fucked up family, that they were leaked. They were leaked. <laughs> God, what, what? Anyway, uh, Trump has now returned to his harsh criticism of Theresa May because she didn't immediately jump to his defense. But it was only a month ago, you remember, that he stood in London and praised her leadership. During a press conference at the Foreign Office when he was in the UK, he said this, quote, that deal, Brexit, that deal is teed up. I think that deal is really teed up. I think they have to do something. And perhaps you won't be given the credit, he's talking to Theresa May, that you deserve if they do something. But I think you deserve a lot of credit. I really do. I think you deserve a lot of credit. <laughs> so now, Fuckle the Clown has notified whoever he's supposed to notify, probably that miserable, bloated bastard, Mike Pompeo, who is our foreign minister, that, uh, I don't care for that ambassador. We know why, Donald. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. You have your choice. You can listen to the ranting with the audio podcast or listen and watch me lose control with a video podcast subscription. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.